Good morning, everyone. I am glad to be with you once again to announce uh, that we're going to read our next chapter in Wagon Wheels. And actually, we have, I think, a special guest helping to announce this morning. Who might that be? My name's Paddleface. Pa My favorite thing to do is dance. Dance butter. Dance butter. <laughs> All right, we JK. got it. JK. And also, my special toy of the week is... You pull your hand here. All right, Paddle Face. Oh. Get us into the book. What we're, are we looking at today? We're in Chapter 3 in Wagon Wheels. And the chapter is called Moving On. And once again, in Roman numerals. And I have a thousand balls to pick up. Yes, you do. Get to work. All right, so we're going to be reading Chapter 3, Moving On. Does that look blurry? Here we go. When spring came, Daddy said, Boys, this prairie is too flat for me. I want to find land with trees and hills. I'm going to move on. I said, I will start loading the wagon. But Daddy said, Hold on now. I want you boys to stay. You have shelter and friends here. I will go alone. I will send for you when I find a place. What? Oh, yeah. I was so scared to stay alone. So was Willie, poor little brother. He tried to understand what Daddy was saying. We all listened as Daddy told us. I will leave you cornmeal for your bread and salt for your meat and some molasses for a sweet. You be good boys, you hear? Take care, little brother. Never let him out of your sight. There were tears in Daddy's eyes when he said goodbye to us. Wow, those poor boys lost their mother. And now their dad is going to prepare a better place for them, but they are staying behind. Mrs. Sadler and Mrs. Hickman said, That Ed Muldy must be off his head to leave you poor babies all alone. I told them, I am no baby, I am eleven, and Willie is eight, and we can take care of ourselves. Little brother's only three, but we can take care of him too. We did what our daddy told us. We hunted, and fished, and cooked, and swept the dugout clean. We even baked our own cornbread. Wow. We had cornbread today. Yes, we did. And we never did let little brother out of our sight. We made him a wagon out of an old box. Mrs. Sadler gave us wheels for it. We put little brother in the wagon and pulled him along with us. You could hear the wheels squeak a mile away. When people in Nicodemus heard that sound, they always said, There go the moldy boys. One day we were picking berries near the river. Willie said, Johnny, I smell smoke. We looked up. The whole sky was orange. We heard someone shout, Prairie fire! We saw the fire behind us. It was coming fast. We will be burned up, Willie cried. There is no place to run. I saw a deer running toward the river. Quick, I told Willie, run to the river. We ran, pulling the wagon behind us. People from Nicodemus were running with us now. When we got to the water, I told Willie, jump in, hold the wagon. I will hold little brother. Everyone was jumping in around us. Mr. Hickman helped me hold little brother. And Mr. Hill helped Willie with the wagon. There was fire and smoke all around, but the water kept the fire from us. We stayed there for a long time. When the fire had died out, we all walked home. Chapter 4 is the letter. Wow, that uh, chapter made me think about a few things. How Jesus went to heaven to prepare a place for us and how he'll come back when the time is right. And um, 
And uh, those boys were not alone, were they? All right. Well, I hope you all have a great day, and God be with you all. Simeon has one more comment. So, next toy of the day is this. I'm going to throw it at that door thing. All right. Here we go. It worked. All right, everybody. God be with you all. God bless you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>